The three body problem is what happens when you take three different objects with mass and you try to gravitationally calculate what's going to happen to them. Just because of the nature of it, it becomes chaotic and that is the three body problem. So my question today is could we create a solar system that has three stars at its center? Hey everybody, much adventure here. This is going to be another um, universe sandbox video. In this one, I was thinking, you know, I'm getting so many comments about the three body problem. There's an old video that's been going off on uh, my YouTube shorts, which is where I take the our, our solar system and um, I put two suns. I literally just create the second sun out of thin air. And, uh, you know, obviously everything goes crazy. And everyone's saying, you know, the three body problem, three body problem. So I thought today, let, let's find the three body problem. And to do that, here's what I was thinking, okay? I put my thinking hat on and I was thinking, I think the easiest way to do this would be to, you know, basically create three um, stars, you know, similar to the sun. But what we'll do is reduce the, the mass of them so that they're only one third a mass of the sun. So that way, when you put three of them together, it will equal, you know, it should equal, um, one full sun's worth of mass in the center of our solar system. So I think, I mean, to me, that just makes sense. Uh, let's get into it. I mean, we got to figure out the exact. Oh, actually, I can just add anyone. Never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking. So we'll go down here. We'll go to add, and we will add in a dun dun dun, dun star sun. Okay. So let's add another one here. And then another one here. So there's three. Obviously, it's off center a bit. Um, let's just go ahead and if I can move this one. Get how to move. Action. Ink. Um, you know what? If we just delete that one and then we'll just add another one. Just make it easier. You know, roughly. Okay. Now, here's what we'll do. Now we go up here and make the mass. Instead of one sun, we're going to do zero, I think, 0.33 repeating. We're just going to do three, three, whatever, close enough. So 0 0.33. Still a star, I believe. I don't think we've gone uh, low. Not a star anymore. Let's check on that. I mean, hopefully, will the heat output... That, I mean, that's a question, is is will all... Will, will, the, will there be enough heat and, and whatever, solar energy coming off of these three stars together that would equal the same as the sun? I don't know that. But we're going to find out. Okay, so... Now what we do is we get all three of these going. And then we open this up and then we create a berry center. Okay. So there's our berry center. So now, I mean, let's see here. Ideally, oh, I missed. We should just be able to literally hit play and then see what happens. All three of these suns are in there. Okay, let's just check out. Let's just check out the stats of one of these stars that we just created here. So, the radius is three Jupiters. Okay, that seems small, but um. Still a star. So if I hit play, will it not be a star anymore? <laughs> Anyways, I think this is it. I think we got it. I think this is cool. This is we're gonna see what happens. Is is will all hell break loose? Or will literally nothing happen? And I got the simulation open that has like all the moons and stuff, so you can see Jupiter and Saturn. They have tons of moons. I mean, without further ado, let's zoom out a bit just to really get the effect here. Uh oh wait. We are playing. It is in real time. <laughs> it's just in real time. So now we got to just speed it up. That was not paused. Okay. Let's see what happens. Zoom out. And uh, we're going to speed up time here. Problem with all the moons. and so Okay. Oh. Whoa. I feel like I went way too fast. I feel like I went way too fast. Okay. Wow. Supernova. So, holy moly. 
Holy. It looked like two of those suns collided into each other. Or was it just because they're so... It looked like two of them collided into each other. But is it also because I shrunk the mass so far down? Oh my gosh. Like what happened there? This star is still 0 0.3 sun, so it didn't like it didn't take any new stuff. This one's still living. Let's just continue to play out uh time, I guess. Oh my lord. Everything got ab absolutely obliterated. Let's see. Oh, the Hubble Space Telescope has somehow survived. I mean, if I zoom out, there's nothing left. Wow. But there you go. There's the I mean, there's the three-body problem. Yikes. I think we got to check that out again. I think we got to do one more test of that. That was insane. And we got to go slower and more close up um, just so I can show you guys what happened. Because I kind of missed that too. It seemed insane. Uh, so meet me back here after I set it all up again. Okay, we're back. I set this up again. We have the Barry Center. We have our three suns. They're equal to the amount of uh, one, one sun altogether. So... So we can close that down and uh, it's already playing so we're gonna speed up times to keep it slow and I'm gonna stay in this view here to really see what the heck happened so we're still going a little bit slow okay, here we go Can you imagine seeing this in real time so this we're moving at 16 minutes every second you see is 16 minutes of real time Okay, this is having a different effect because it looks like this one. Like maybe this, what happened this time? To me, it looks like this time they're all going in their different directions. Look at that. How crazy is that? There's no supernova on this one. I mean, I guess when they talk, when they say that the three body uh, problem is chaotic and they cannot figure out how to calculate it. I mean, this is a prime example, I guess. But look at this. They're just ripping through space. Let's see if any of them collect planets as they go or disturb. Like Venus is very close. Okay. So it's taking Venus. This one's headed straight for Mars. Sun's headed straight for Mars. Look, Mars is coming around. So Mars is... Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Oh look, we got a... Uh, Jupiter's going to go by it, but... Thought we were going to get a crash collision. Okay, let's speed up time even more and just see what how this ends. What, what new solar system did we just create? Whoa, that sun went right through Saturn. That was crazy. That was absolutely insane. And this one ran right through Uranus. Okay, so, you know, let's just keep going. Okay, that's as fast as we can go. So, we're moving at 1.5 months every second. Wow. Okay, so this one was completely different. Interesting. Okay, so, because this one was completely different, meet me back here one more time, and let's just, you know, the three-body problem, let's do it three times, and then we'll see what the last one, uh, what happens with the last one that we get. So, this one... Basically, the universe, or I mean, the solar system just gets completely scattered. Jupiter is now the, uh, look at that. Jupiter is a binary of Io. That's weird. Mars is a planet flying by the sun. Uranus is a binary of Ariel. Venus is a planet flying by the sun. So, uh, to me, it looks like Jupiter is the new champion. Saturn is a binary of Titan. So there's nothing left. All the stars are gone. Wow. I must have set them up to like shoot to like shoot rather than just like stay stationary. That's I must have did something crazy like that. So here okay, so stay with me and we're gonna do uh we'll do the next one. Okay, welcome back again. This time there is a setting that I hit um when you put it. So it was earlier I had the setting when I when I'm placing um stars. I had the setting set to uh, orbit. This time, I there's a setting for binary. I know we're doing a trinary system, essentially, but uh, yeah, that's what I set it to. So 
I set it to binary, so let's see. There's one more option for still, so I don't know if we need to get into that, but... Um, here we go. The third time. Let's see what happens. Three-body problem. We are speeding up time here. So far... Hey. So, oh, actually, I shouldn't speak so soon. Looks kind of like the same exact thing happened. So they didn't attract each other. Instead, they're gone. They are going, 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 gone. So the same thing happens with this one. Okay. Okay, one more time. Let's do it. And this time... Okay, there goes Mars. Right into Jupiter. Wow. Um, okay, well, one more time. And this time, I'm going to set it to still. So they won't move at all. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, we're back. This is going to be the last one. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's see exactly what we got. So I set it to still this time. So we're going to see if it explodes internally or they do the exact same thing. Here we go. So it looks like, oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Wow, there it is again. Okay, so that is... There goes everything. Goodbye. Jupiter has remained. What is Jupiter? Jupiter. Don't leave us. Wow, look at Jupiter. And it's incinerated. Okay, there's your answer. Another. So really, it looks to me like there's two options with the three. There's got to be there's got to be um a tr trinary star systems. Maybe there isn't cuz it's so chaotic. That's kind of crazy to think about. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. There's your answers. To me, the three-body problem, I mean, it has two answers. Either all three stars get sent in their own direction, or uh, you have a supernova. <laughs> and there we go. Voyager uh, spacecraft is still uh, surviving, so that's great. It would, too. You know it would. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, uh, feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment uh, what you thought was going to happen. Or leave a comment if, you know, this actually exists in reality and I'm just, uh, didn't, I didn't see it. Anyways, I know we got lots of binary. I know most star systems are binary, which is uh, cool to think about that we are not in a binary star system. But yeah, anyways, guys, uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day.